Hi there, Libra. Let's see what's going on for all of you for, oh, hello. There's a card that wants to come out. March 2024. Was that out of frame? I'm not sure. If, oh, maybe you saw that. There was cards card sticking out. It's Nine of Raphael's The Wish Fulfillment card. <laughs> Let's get more of that story. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, we got two of them. Six of Michael. Strength. You're, you're have Okay. In order to get some of this wish fulfillment, you're having to sort of shut down old business so something new can come forward. Hold on. Hold one second. One second. Let me get these in order. I, I let me just feel the overall thing here. There's an opportunity. A lot of people have been, I'm up to, you know, what, six, seven videos I've done now. A lot of people are getting this theme of hard stop there, a goodbye. And now we're going to let something else in, right? <laughs> but for you guys, this is very much divinely inspired. Uh, so if you suddenly wake up, let's say you wake up in the middle of the night and you have that flash of inspiration or you wake up in the morning and you remember a very, very vivid dream that's trying to guide you to something. It's this, okay? Nine of Raphael, make a wish. Dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So there's the lineup of the cards there. Now, first and foremost, this wish fulfillment was coming out. This is talking about your manifestations are coming to life. Okay, they're being brought into 3D, but then we go right into six of Michael and it says it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So I don't know if you can see it on there, but this person's moving out of a very, very stormy situation. And for you, that stormy situation was not believing in yourself. Yeah, I want to leave this situation, this relationship, this job, but where else am I going to go? Yeah, I want to move out of this house, but where else am I going to go? You have learned, though, that that type of thinking is what gets you stuck. Or thinking you're powerless. Or thinking it's never going to change. Waiting for the universe to give you a sign and feeling like it's not giving you a sign. The journey, I'm going to tell you right now, the journey could be a little troublesome a little troublesome like there's in this card there's like lightning and all this stuff all around so for some of you if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one about your specific situation angelsouls444.com those are standard readings every once in a while I can take a live zoom reading okay we book that differently that would be by emailing me angelsouls444 at gmail.com also doing courses on how to connect with your angels, angel mediumship, or how to read angel cards. So again, those uh, would get booked via email if there is a slot available. For some of you, you may be thinking of moving out of the country. Now, a lot of you are going to be hearing this and going, oh, psh, that's not me. You don't know. Okay? We don't know what's going to be going down. Okay. <laughs> so hang with me here. Or you are working with someone... This is just what I'm in, intuitively feeling. There's someone from overseas who you'll be working with. And in this day and age of remote positions, that could very well be. But it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. So if you, let's say you're going to go on vacation and, you know, you're, you're going to go off to some exotic place, but you don't speak the language. What is happening with my hair? You guys, now I got a mirror here to see what's going on with my hair. I don't know if that's better or worse because now, <laughs> now I know what's going on. Oh no. Uh, but anyway, like maybe you make plans to um, take a trip, go on a vacation and you don't know the language. And so there's that stress of, okay, this is a really cool opportunity, but I better hurry up and learn the language. I need to learn the customs and the culture and all that. Uh, so uh, yeah, there's that part. For those of you who are not planning whatsoever to use your passport, okay, um, <laughs> this could still talk about the adjustment. In order for you to bring in what you've always wanted to manifest, there is going to be a big adjustment. 
and you're going to need a lot of strength for it. A lot of strength. Because for some reason, this time around, this thing that is unfolding for you in March, it may not be solidified in March. Let me let me make that very clear. Uh, it might be more towards like May-ish for some of you. Uh, but we do have the number 11 here. Now, if you're going to manifest, you need to be in a high frequency, okay, or lift your frequency up. So at least you have some clarity on what you actually want. So you make sure that you're manifesting the thing that's going to work for you, okay? Strength, Archangel Ariel. She's all about material abundance, uh, being grounded, detoxified, living your best human existence. And this says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. You see what you need to do, but you've been avoiding it. You've been avoiding it because it was going to be super uncomfortable. And yet... Here we go. Here is now the strength to move in that direction. If you give yourself that chance to try it out, something really beautiful opens up for you. There's something to celebrate here, but this is something that emotionally fulfills you. It's a sense of acceptance. It's, it's a sense of I'm with my people now. <laughs> so like, you know, if you've worked in a corporation and you've been on the corporate side of things, but you never really see yourself as a corporate person. And then maybe you go off to some small business or something like that. You realize that that is a better fit for you. It's that sort of thing. Like I feel at ease. I feel like um, what I've wanted to make manifest has finally come forward. So we have the three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends. Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. You know... Part of having strength is looking at your own self-sabotaging, what, what is your way of thinking, and I'll be the first one to say, I can be very critical and very judgmental. Yeah. Does it, it, does it stem from thinking that I really am above everybody else? Heck no. No. It's from having been hurt and betrayed several times before and not and not having much trust for people therefore not having much faith in people and so I'm always watching and if someone is a little extra gossipy I immediately big old stamp gossiper maybe that was just that one time it probably wasn't look at me okay <laughs> what are we doing this um <laughs> thinking like oh I got your number you know, I don't want to be around somebody like that. You see what I'm saying? Jumping to conclusions about people. That is a huge thing that I do that is not nice, okay? This is that kind of thing that you're going to be facing this month. And it does maybe come with a little guilt where you realize, okay, I haven't been fair. Or I haven't been very nice. Or I haven't been very considerate. You know, if someone opens their home to me. I should say thank you and clean up after myself, right? It's that sort of thing where you're having some self-realization. Now, out of this self-realization, when your energy opens, that's part of the 11 frequency, your energy is opening, your consciousness is expanding. Now you're starting to embrace what is possible. And that gets you flowing into a direction where maybe there are new friends coming in. Maybe there is a love partnership coming in. I will say, though, that this doesn't feel shocking. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's like a moment here in the month where it's like, oh, I never thought my wish was going to come true, and here it is. Maybe you'll see that as shocking. But this more has the feeling of, I've been through a lot, and I've had to make sure that I've set this success up for myself. Maybe you didn't know when it was going to happen. But here's the glimmer, okay? <clears throat> Pardon me. I don't know if this is allergies coming. I don't know what. I don't know what. But I do apologize, all right? So there's something to celebrate here. And the celebration for you this month is change. The number five, we're changing. We're changing through divine guidance. And this Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin is all about balancing, harmonizing, physical self, spiritual self, aligning all your electrical centers, your chakras, 
or chakras. Please forgive my American accent around that. Uh, and this says the search for meaning in life. That's big. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. You're finding that. Yeah, I'm hearing saying no. You're finally saying no. And you're realizing what makes you happy, what brings you peace. But you're also realizing what the universe, your angels, archangels have been trying to get you to see about yourself for forever. I'll give you another example. The other day, I was in a mood. Okay, I was in a mood. I was just like, I'm sick of stupid bills and stupid taxes and stupid mess around my house. I'm tired of stupid fat on my body. I'm so sick of it all. I'm so sick of it all. And I said, God, come on. Help a girl out here, okay? You know what? I'm just going to abandon the path here and I'm just going to go do whatever the heck I want. <laughs> like, I threw a fit. I threw a fit with God. I sure did. And what was funny is I sat there and I'm like, okay, I don't care about doing this, that, or the other, or any of these things that have put pressure on me. Forget about it. What do I want to do? I want to read a book, okay? I want to read a book and I want everyone to leave me alone <laughs> while I read this book. And I sat there and I, I read quite a bit of a book. And that divine guidance came flowing through me. And it was sort of a, okay, haha, God, you're so funny. But I realized I've got myself off path by not writing. Because when I write, there's a flow. There's a flow I don't get from anything else. So I started writing again. Now you guys know for years and years and years, since like 2012. I mean, I've written, I wrote a novel before I went to grad school. I had to have a novel done before I could be accepted into grad school. So that's that's there. Um, but I've written several since. The divine guidance is saying, okay, pick it back up again. Just because you're intimidated about actually being seen, the act of writing is very important for you. That was that divine guidance coming through. Okay. And it has shifted my energy. It has very much shifted everything. I'm more inspired in, you know, what I put into my body, like making sure I'm cooking healthy meals, even down to that. How weird, right? So one thing can have a ripple effect over everything. That's part of that change, that divine guidance. And you might be experiencing something kind of similar this month where something is coming in and lifting you into a direction that you never saw coming. And maybe for some of you, you didn't even know that it was a wish fulfillment until it started happening. And now you're in the place. Now you're in the place and you're realizing I have held myself back needlessly. I have, this is kind of what you've been waiting for. It's breaking open now, but no way, no how can you get to the end of this month? And leave a comment under this video saying, it didn't happen. Well, you better go back and figure out why it didn't happen. You better figure out what you were doing, right? Where did you have this stop, this block? Where, where did that happen? Take an accountability here for yourself and your thoughts and your actions. The choices you make. Those are going to be big things here as well before you move on. Okay. So there's that. We'll leave it there. I'm sending y'all so much love and take care.